Hey, what is going on guys? Thanks for checking out this video of my sports, Gematria. In this video, I'm going to go over all NBA games for Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. I'll show you both sides of each game, and it'll be up to you to determine who you think is going to win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And if for some reason you're curious to know who I am picking, in these games, you're going to have to join my Patreon, where my picks are always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck in your picks today. Let's get into the games. We got Raptors versus the Wizards, Hawks and Mavericks, Pacers, Nets, Hornets, Grizzlies, Clippers, Wolves, Pelicans, Bulls, Cavs, Nuggets, Bucks, Suns, Thunder, and Lakers. So on this side, I have my daily numbers, date numerology, Gregorian, both sides of the Hebrew. And this side is what I call my game numbers. Away team up top, head-to-head -head in the middle, home team at the bottom. So let's get started with the, the Raptors and the Wizards. Um, today, February the 10th, writ written 2 slash 10, or you can say it's the 10th of February, 10 slash 2. This is the 102nd all-time head-to-head matchup between these two teams on the 10th of February, 10 slash 2. Today has 53 date numerology, the 16th prime number. It's the 41st day of the Gregorian year. The 13th prime number with the Raptors win. They can sit on 13 losses for this season in their coach's 179th regular season game, the 41st prime number. And Wizards would get their 16th loss for the season. 53 date numerology, the 16th prime number. Uh, Raptors would get their 59th all-time head-to-head win against the Wizards. Today with 17 date numerology on the Gregorian, 59 is the 17th prime number. 53 also sums to 59 as well. On the flip side, Raptors we could become 5-9 and nine on the road with a loss like 59. And the Raptors coach would sit on his 122nd regular season win with the loss. Today with 53 date numerology, 53 sums to 122 and 59. Today also has 33 date numerology on the Gregorian, 33 sums to 156. And the Wizards coach can get his 156 regular season win as a coach for the Wizards. Today has 17 date numerology on the Gregorian, 17 sums to 37. Wizards would become 3 and 7, like 37 at home for the season uh, with the win. It is the Raptors' 14th away game, and they could just get their 14th loss for this season. And then one more thing, 17 sums to 44 as well. And the Wizards would get their 44th all-time head-to-head win against the Raptors. So you're going to have to decide on which way it's going to go. Is it the 16? Goes against the Wizards. 13, 179, the 41st prime. 41, the 13th prime. Raptors st sit on 13. They get their 59th all-time head-to-head. Or they're going to become 5-9, and nine, like 59, on the road. Sitting on 122, the coach with the loss. And then it would be the Wizards coach that gets his 156th win on 33 date numerology. So you have to decide on which way that's going to go. Hawks versus the Mavericks. Uh, we have some game numbers here. Both these teams come in here with the uh, 11 wins for the season. But if Hawks win this game, they even the score 1-1 one, one head to head against the Mavericks like an 11. As Mavericks sit on 11 wins for the season. This is the Hawks 11th away game. So Hawks are either going to sit on 11 wins in their 11th away game or they're going to have Mavericks sit on their 11 wins for the season as Hawks become 1-1 one one head-to-head -head against the Mavericks like an 11. Flip side though, if Mavericks win, they sweep the Hawks 2-0 like 20 head-to-head -head for the season. Today is February 10th, written 2-10. And the number 2-10 is the 20th triangular number. Hawks would get their 13th loss for the season. Today is the 41st day of the Gregorian, the 13th prime number. Hawks coach would sit on 60 
regular season wins with a loss today with 33 date numerology on the Gregorian. 33 sums to 60. What is the uh, 987? I forgot what that is. 987. Oh, it's the 16th Fibonacci number. Yeah, so 53 date numerology on the Gregorian. 53 sums to, uh, or 53 the 16th prime. Today, today was 17 date numerology as well. 17 sums to 44. Mavericks was set on 44 all-time head-to-head losses against Hawks with the win. But the flip side, Mavericks, this is their uh, 12th home game. And they could get their 12th win for this season. Or... Hawks would just become 12 and 12 for the season with the win, and the Hawks coach would sit on 112 regular season uh, losses with the win. With it being the 41st day of the Gregorian, the 13th prime, Hawks could get their 13th loss, or 13 sums to 45, and Hawks could just get their 45th all-time head-to-head win against the Mavericks. So you're going to have to decide on which way these numbers are going to swing. All right. Let's look at Pacers and the Nets. Today, 40, 41st day of the Gregorian, 41, the 13th prime number. Pacers can get their 13th win for the season, or they can get their 13th loss for the season. goes either way for the Pacers. If the uh, Nets lose, they would get their 13th. Uh, loss for the season as Pacers get their 13th win for the season. Today is the 10th of February. This is the 10th away game for the Pacers. Nets would sit on 10 home wins uh, for the season with the loss. And one of these teams are going to become 1-0 and head-to-head against the other, like 10. Today does have 17 date numerology on the Gregorian. 17 sums to 109. 109 the 29th prime. 29 the 10th prime. Pacers could get their 109th regular season head-to-head win against the Nets. So, I mean, the 13 can swing either way for Pacers. It only can swing one way for Nets. Um, I didn't see a whole lot for Nets, though, other than Nets can sit on 12 uh, losses for the season as they sit on 112 all-time head-to-head losses against Pacers as Pacers sit on 12 wins for the season. Pacers come into this game 12 and 12. Uh, that's where they can go 13 or 13 either way with a win or a loss, which makes it kind of hard. Um, I didn't really see anything else. Yeah. I want to be careful with this one. Nets played yesterday uh, and they lost. Um, they could win- lose two back to back. Pacers, they play tomorrow, so I'm sure what can hit today can hit tomorrow for the uh, Pacers tomorrow. Um, 18 date numerology, 29, 46, 6, 4, 5, 5. Uh, there's not a whole lot here. I'll just be cautious of this one. Hornets and the Grizzlies, 41st day. Of the Gregorian, 13th prime. With the win, Hornets can become 13-13 for a season record. Grizzlies would get their 11th loss in their 11th home game. As the Hornets tie 1-1 head-to-head against the Grizzlies for the season with the win. On the flip side, though, it's the Grizzlies' 20th game for the season. And Hornet and Grizzlies could sweep the Hornets 2-0 like 20. Today is uh, February 10th. Written 2 slash 10, 210, the 20th triangular number. 21 sums to 102, it being the 10th of February, one sla- 10 slash 2 or 2 slash 10. And Grizzlies can get their 21st all-time head-to-head win against Hornets as they sweep them 2-0 and in their 20th game. Today does have 17 date numerology on the Gregorian. 17 sums to 44, and Grizzlies coach would get his 44th uh, regular season win. So you're going to have to figure out uh, which way it's going to go on that one. All right, let's keep it going. 41st 41st day of the Gregorian. 
Clippers with a loss can become 17-9 for a season record, 179, the 41st prime number. Um, flip side though, Timberwolves, they can become 619 for a uh, record for the season with a loss, and today has 114 date numerology on the Hebrew Civil. 619 is the 114th prime number. So either one of these teams can lose and become some mathematical prime number for their record. Clippers won the first game. They could sweep the Timberwolves and become 2-0, and like 20. Today, uh, February the 10th, written 2-10, 2 10, 2 10 the 20th triangular number. Clippers coach would sit on 91 regular season losses with a win. 91, the 13th triangular. Maybe that's the 13 connection instead of the 179. On the flip side, though, he can get his 92nd loss regular season as well as he sits on 145 regular season wins today the 145th day on the hebrew civil 92 also sums to 145 Timberwolves getting their 7th win. Today does have 17 date numerology on the Gregorian 17, the 7th prime number. That can be a reason for it. I'll go ahead and mark that. But 7 also sums to 25, as we see when I typed it out. 7 sums to 25. And... It's the Timberwolves' 25th game for the season, so they can get their 7th win in their 25th game. Um, which would have that Clippers 17-9 and then 145-92. Uh, but there is 114 date numerology on the Hebrew Civil. And Timberwolves could become 619, which is the 114th prime number. Um... And then Clippers can sweep 2 and 0 like 20. February the 10th, 2 slash 10, the 20th triangular. Um, not a whole lot here either. Other than those. I mean, even with just the 19, even. If we just pop in 19, we see that it sums to 41. 19 sums to 41. Today is the 41st day of the Gregorian. So there's definitely numbers against Temple Wolves. And there are some d numbers definitely against Clippers. So um, good luck on picking which one you want to go with. Uh, just continue to look it over. Maybe add some stuff to it if you needed. All right, let's keep it going. Pelicans and Bulls. It's the Bulls' 12th home game. It's the Pelicans' 12th away game. With the win, Pelicans can become 12-12 12 and 12 for a season record. However, that can go against them. Their coach, Pelicans' coach, can get his 397th regular season loss. 397 is the 90, or 78th prime number. And 78 is the 12th triangular number. So instead of going 12-12 for the season, they can his coach their coach can just get their his 397th loss. It's the 41st all-time head-to-head matchup between these two on the 41st day of the Great Gorian. 41 the 13th prime. Pelicans would get their 13th loss for the season. Today is the 10th day of February. Bulls would get their 10th win. And one of these two teams is going to go 1 and 0 head-to-head against the other like 10. So which one is it going to be? Today does have 171 date numerology on the Hebrew Civil, and the Bulls coach can sit on 171 regular season losses with a win. So is it the 12s? 12, 12, 12, 12. 
Pelicans. They can get their 19th all-time head-to-head win against the Bulls. We just talked about the number 19 and how it can just... It sums to 41, 19, 41, 41st day. So maybe they just get their 19 all-time head-to-head win against the Bulls on the 41st all-time instead of getting their 13th loss for the season. You can go that way as well. Going to have to decide on what makes the most sense to you. The number 13 sums to 99. And if the Bulls lose this game, they would sit on nine wins for the season, and then they would get their ninth home loss for the season, kind of like a 9-9. All right, Cavs and Nuggets, same numbers, basically. 41st day of the Gregorian, the 13th prime. Nuggets can get their 13th win for the season. It's the 91st all-time head-to-head matchup between these two, the 13th triangular number. Nuggets can sit on 41 all-time head-to-head losses against Cavs with a win. 53 date numerology on the Gregorian, the 16th prime. Cavs would get their 16th loss. They would sit on 10 wins as their coach continues to sit on 100 wins regular season. Today being the 10th of February, 100 has a square root of 10. And one of these two teams is going to go 1-0, and like 10 head-to-head against the other for the season. Flip side, though. The Cavs 12th game away, Nuggets 12th game home, Nuggets with the loss can become 12-12, similar to uh, the Pelicans game, Bulls 12, way 12, Pelicans can become 12-12 with the win, so either these 12s are going to hit or they're not going to hit, one or the other, you're going to have to decide, Cavs with the win, instead of getting their 16th loss, their coach would get his 16th win, Regular season as a coach for Cavs, 53rd date numerology, 53 the 16th prime. He would sit on 21 losses, 21 sums to 102. Today, the uh, 10th of February, written written to 10 slash 2, excuse me. And it is their 26th game of the season, and the coach can get his 101st a regular season win for his career, the 26th prime number. So there's definitely numbers here for Cavs. You know, looks pretty easy with the Nuggets, 1391, and then the 16 and the 41 here. Uh, but there's some numbers here for Cavs, 26th game, 101st win, 26th prime, 16th win. The 12-12, Nuggets become 12-12. You know, Nuggets coach, he would sit on 231 regular season wins with the loss. 231, the 21st triangular number, 21 sums to 102. That's why Cavs coach could sit on 21 regular season losses today, the 10th of February, 10 slash 2. So you have to decide on on which way this is going to go as well. Bucks and Suns, the 145th day on the Hebrew Civil. Suns, Bucks, 145th regular season head to head matchup between these two teams. At first glance, nothing, nothing crazy jumped out at me. Um, Bucks could get their sixth win in a row for the season. Today, uh, 41 date numeral or 41. 41st day of the Gregorian, the 13th prime, 13 the 6th prime number. They can get their 6th win in a row. Today does have 17 date numerology on the Gregorian. Bucks would also get their 17th win for this season. With the loss, though, they would become 16-9 for a season record. 16-9 has a square root of 13. 13 times 13 equals 169. Today, the 41st day on the Gregorian, the 13th prime. That's how the 13th can go on that one. With the loss, Suns would get their 10th loss for the season. And then one of these two teams is going to become 1-0 and head-to-head against the other for the season, like 10. Today is the 10th day of February. Also, 33 date numerology on the Gregorian, 33 sums to 141. 
with the loss at Suns would become 1410, like 141. They could become 15-9 with the win. I just don't see anything connecting with the 26 or 78. Because 26 sums to 159. And 78 sums to 159. So I don't know if there's like maybe one of those two numbers in their next game that would allow them to become 15-9. I mean, it is their 12th home game. And the number 78 is the 12th triangular number. And... The number 78 sums to 159. So maybe in their 12th home game, they become 15-9 for a season record with the win. And then the Bucks would become 16-9, the 13th, which has a square root of 13. Um, it could play out that way. Or it can just be as easy as the Bucks getting their 17th win. And then it's the 141 for 33. 33 sums to 141. So different different ways of looking at it. And the uh, last game of the night, hopefully I didn't take too much of your guys' time. Thunder versus the Lakers. Uh, Lakers could get their 20th win today of the season. It is uh, February the 10th, written 2 slash 10. 210 is the 20th triangular number. It is a day with 40, it's the 41st day of the Gregorian. 41 is the 13th prime. 13 is the 6th prime. Lakers would get their 6th win in a row. In Thunder's 13th away game. Thunder comes into this game with 13 losses. They could sit on 13 in their 13th away. Uh, but the number 14 also sums to 41. And it's a reflection of 41. So they could get their 14th loss as well. Just as easy. 53 date numerology on the Gregorian. 53 sums to 122 and 148. With the win, Lakers would sit on 122 all-time head-to-head losses against the Thunder. However, with the loss, the Lakers would sit on 148 regular season wins head-to-head -head against the Thunder. So, their head-to-head -head plays two ways. Lakers can sweep the Thunder 3-0 like 30, or they can lose and become 2-1 head-to-head, or the number 12, like 1-2. Thunder with the win would become 1-2 and two against the Lakers for the season, like 12. This is the Lakers' 12th home game. The number 12 sums to 75 and 24. And it's the Thunder's 24th game of the season. And Lakers can become 7-5 for a record with a loss. It's the Lakers' 26th game of the season. And the Lakers coach can get his 26th regular season loss as a coach for Lakers. At the same time, it's his 97th regular season game as a coach for Lakers, the 25th prime. And he can sit on 25 losses, 97, the 25th prime. Uh, so, uh, And then Lakers can sit on 19 wins for the season instead of getting their 20th. And we know 19 sums to 41 today being the 41st uh, prime, or excuse me, the 41st day of the, the Gregorian. And then 41, the 13th prime, the number 13 sums to 45. And with the loss, Lakers can become 19-7 for a season record like 197. 197 is the 45th prime number. All right, so hopefully this wasn't too long. Hopefully I gave you some information to work with. Um, best of luck to you guys. Thanks for watching.